You know, and uh, Steve Tyler from Aerosmith, he sang this before, living on the edge, living on the edge. There's something wrong with the world today. I don't know what it is. And I'm only quoting the lyrics here. So I'm not telling you listen to music or not with all this disputation in the ummah. There's just two opinions. Take whichever one you want and don't give the other side a hard time. Really, this, that's just the way it is. Again, you know, but anyway, and, and I'm just quoting lyrics. So I'm quoting a poem, right? And the Prophet ﷺ, he quoted poetry. So he said, you know, I don't want to digress. If he did quote a poem, I'll digress. There was a poem and basically the, the poet said, أَلَا كُلُّ شَيْءٍ مَا خَلَى اللَّهَ بَاطِلُ وَكُلُّ نَعِيمٍ لَا مَحَالَ تَزَائِلُ Is it not uh, that every thing devoid of God that has, doesn't have Allah in it is falsehood? And the Prophet said that that part of the poem was the most truthful thing a poet has ever said. SubhanAllah. So to find truth in what other people are saying and then to complete it for them. Habib Ali Al-Jifri, whom we have the honor of listening to later today, inshaAllah, in yesterday's, his talk yesterday, talked about that hadith where the Prophet ﷺ says, إِنَّمَا بُعِثْتُ لِأُتَمِّمَ مَكَارِمَ الْأَخْلَاقِ I have only been sent for nothing other than completing the human character and the, 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 the generous traits and the noble traits to perfect the noble traits of human character. In other words, the summary of what he was sent with is that. Everything else is underneath that, but it's, it all goes for that purpose. So the reason I cite this is because you're supposed to actually look for truth in others, even if they don't outwardly share your same religion. Just like we were hearing earlier, someone not of your faith, find truth in it and then complete it. Say, you know what? That's very right. SubhanAllah, that's so right. Did you know that that same God, that same reality sent down another messenger? But of course not right away. Don't be preachy about it. But ultimately when you become friend, talk about it. That's your hal. That's your state. Yes, and, and that final me messenger, no, he wasn't lying. All these misconceptions. Some guy came to me yesterday, asked me about all these misconceptions about Islam. And alhamdulillah, I was just very relaxed. I answered him. He said, I didn't know there were answers to these things. Wallahi, there are answers to these things. Because, I mean, if you're sincere, you're going to know if it's truth or not. You're going to know. I mean, if it's truth, follow it. If it's not, don't. But why are we panicking? It's a time of panic, isn't it?